Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. It is Friday. Have yourself a great weekend, folks, if I don't say that at the end of the show. And all of our guests today, including Amar Dolman, BC Lions owner, uh, standing by, are brought to you by the sponsors of DTMZ, our friends, Al Chris Manson and company at the yep. Whistler Golf Club. More on them uh, later. Joined now by Amar Dolman, BC Lions owner. Lions 2023 CFL season opens June 8th at Calgary, the home opener, yep. June 17th versus Edmonton, and we look forward to that. Amar Doman joins us now. Amar, thanks for doing this. How are you, sir? Hey, I'm well, guys. Thanks for having me on today. Uh, no, no problem. Uh, we got to hit you with this right off the bat, Amar. This is the first time we've had you on since Nathan Rourick made his decision to go to Jacksonville to play in the National Football League. Just your reaction to that. You know, you can't harm someone for following their dream. And Nathan, you know, did a great job for us here. Um, you know, he's going to give his dream a shot and we're very proud of Nathan and just wish him nothing but the best. The show must go on, though, and uh, on we go with Big Play VA. We're excited. Is it possible to build on the success you had both on and off the field last year without Nathan around? There's no question. And now that we're going to be designing the offense around VA and the way his style is and his game, uh, the rest of the team is pretty much all intact, which is great. So we're really excited about the opportunities and how we will be a great cup contender this year. I firmly believe it. I know the answer to this question, but you mentioned VA. For people who don't know, you're talking about Vernon Adams. Vernon Adams Jr., who was so important to your team last year uh, when Nathan Rourke got I injured. You don't make the playoffs without that guy. What's your confidence le level in him? Well, first of all, I've got to give uh, you know Neil and the guys credit for bringing him in. They did such a key move right at the right time when Nathan went down and, you know, uh, Vernon Adams comes in, you know, four and two for us, basically carried us into the playoffs, uh, you know, right until Nathan came back at the end. And, you know, he just did the job and he's exciting. I'm very, very, very proud to have him on our team. And, you know, he's uh, just down the road in Tacoma. So he likes the West Coast. There's just a good vibe in him in the locker room. Those guys have all bonded up. This is a real team that we have here in BC. We haven't seen this in a long time. That continues in 23. Amar, for sports fans, it's not always about what happens on the field. When you go to BC Place, it's about the whole production. Uh, you talked today about uh, street parties, some serious entertainment coming. Give us an update on some of the stuff you got planned around game day. You know, we listen to the fans, listen to you gentlemen, and, you know, starting off, six of the games out of the nine at home are at 4 o'clock, which is yeah. great. So yeah. Saturday afternoon games, I think there's one on Sunday against the Alouettes. But there's five four o'clock starts, so that's going to be great for the out of towners, the interior, the island. You can get back on that last boat, that kind of stuff. Uh, no inflation here. I am not going to raise pricing on anything. We have not done that. Whether it's uh, the, the outside street parties, the five dollar beer, the margs, and more importantly, ticket prices. Season tickets are moving well. We're very proud of where we're at. The team's doing a great job, and the fans are showing up early uh, to lock in those season's tickets. So that's going excellent. So we couldn't be happier with that. And again, we're not uh, raising prices. We just want to keep this momentum building here in BC, and it's come a long way already. Now, when you took over, uh, it, it, you know, you took over a pretty bleak situation. Uh, you've been there now a while. What have you learned? Uh, what are your goals in, you know, like, what have you learned so far being owner of the BC Lions and turning the ship around? Well, number one, like anything, you have to invest in it. And starting the way we did and we said we were going to, which is not only investing in the entertainment, we just think that's great because, look, the football game, we can we add so much uh, sort of ancillary products around it to make it more fun and more with the times, which I believe we're doing. Um, but second of all, going to the youth and having a lot of now the children in the lower mainland wearing orange and black, they've become fans, they, they've started, to, hey, who's this lucky whitehead guy? Like they're all talking now about the players, which was the dream when this thing got started when we got involved, which is we have to recognize our team, the, the youths have to get engaged. The older guys are still around, they come back in when the mm -hmm. team's winning. Fair weather friends like the Canucks across the street, right? That happens, they come in and out. The young guys were trying to develop the young girls to really just come in and have a good time. And that has started and, and the gear is everywhere around town. And you've seen us push the orange and black banners. Yeah. Yeah. All of that's not going to stop. We're going to continue that. And uh, we're, you know, we're pretty excited about it. The sales are going great. One fan at a time, guys, and we're getting it done. 
Okay, uh, home opener, I mentioned that, June 17th against Edmonton. Last year's home opener, also against Edmonton, you had one Republic there, and you, you packed them in a, as a result. What are the plans, entertainment-wise, other than the football, for your home opener this time around? Yeah, you know, we're going to continue that. We're going to call it sort of, uh, you know, concert and kickoff. That's mm -hmm. going to be kind of the model of, of how we want to do this year after year. I'll be bringing in another A-list band, so we're just finalizing details on who that's going to be. But it's going to be an event. I think we're going to have a lot more than we had in the house last year and last June. This is going to be bigger. Uh, hopefully, we're, we'll be 1-0 coming into that game uh, playing Calgary. And then we can try and uh, keep our streak going um, against the Elks. So we're going to be uh, really pumping up the dome. Uh, again, and making it an event every year for the opener, no matter how the team is or what we're doing, we're going to have a party to kick off the Lions every single year I'm involved. And something for the old guys like ACDC. Uh, Rick would like to see like, Rick would like to see Soft Cell there. To, no, can you give us any hint as no, who it would no. be, Amar? Def Leppard. Okay. <laughs> Listen, uh, Dolly, it's not going to be Soft Cell, um, but I, I can tell you that. Uh, He's joking. Uh, Listen, if you had my seat here, how do you do this? This is a hard thing because, look, if you go country, half the people hate it. If you go yeah. hard rock, three quarters of people, it, it pops. So you, you, this yeah. takes a lot of thinking. And then you got to figure out which bands are available. Yeah. And, of course, you know, post-COVID, all these guys are busy traveling the world trying to make up for two years of sitting on their hands. So yeah. it's a difficult piece to put together, but I'm working my butt off uh, with the brand life to make sure this comes out real good. Yeah, in all seriousness, do something for the kids. You got, you got the older audience. Do, yeah. do, do something uh, for the kids. Um, okay, also, I, somebody asked me to ask you this question, but playoff game last year, you provided transportation for people who aren't in Vancouver, people in the Okanagan, Fraser Valley, Vancouver Island. Same thing uh, this time around, maybe in the regular season tomorrow. Are there any plans there? There are, and, and we're working together now with certain bus lines um, and also Helijet, uh, perhaps Harbor Air and Pacific Coastal Air as well to build very, very cost-effective packages. If not, we'll be subsidizing a bunch of that as well to make sure these fans can come in from all around British Columbia. So you're going to see us come out with formalized programs over the next few months as we get closer to kickoff. Uh, but absolutely, that's the plan. And that will tuck right into those four o'clock games, which are perfect. And even for people around town here, you know, you can come in late the day on a Saturday, watch mm -hmm. the football game and head her home or head yeah. her out for dinner. It's not that 10, 10, 30 thing where it's tough on young children that late. I understand that. And um, I think this is going to be a game changer for us to have those four o'clock starts. Uh, I, I think it's a brilliant move. Uh, I know you want to focus on your team, but ba back to North and, uh, Nathan Rourke for a second, uh, Amar. Uh, how do you think he's going to do in the National Football League? And do you understand his decision to go to Jacksonville where Trevor Lawrence is well established as the number one? Well, you know, they're saying one play away in, in that league where, I mean, God, quarterbacks are going, you know, you hate to say it, going down quick. Look, Nathan got hurt up here. You know, yeah. I, I think he's going to, you know, have his opportunity. I think he likes the system, the management there. Um, you know, I, I just wish him nothing but the best. I, I know that down there, that's, uh, you know, it's a tougher uh, tougher level of play, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps when you're trying to make a number two even. Uh, it's It's difficult. There's a lot of competition down there. But this, this guy, he just seems to get better by the minute, and we wish him nothing but the best in the NFL. And, hey, we've got a great story going on here with the BC Lions and the CFL, and, and we're going to be just fine. And, we, uh, we again, we wish Nathan nothing but the best down south. Uh, Mar, uh, the Great Cup is here next year. Uh, the planning has started. Uh, talk about some of the big events you got going for the Great Cup. Yeah, I'm Great Cup chair for next year. I'm excited about that. We are already, you know, working uh, things out with hotels. Uh, I didn't realize the magnitude of this. I've attended several Great Cups, but now to be involved in sort of the wiring of it, it's massive. And we are going to throw Vancouver a party like we've never seen that week. It's going to be awesome. And obviously the dream is to have the Lions in it. We can't uh, confirm that one, but if that happens, that would be over the top. But certainly um, the planning has begun. It's going to be fantastic. We've got a lot of partners that are already dying to get in. And also, you know, you want to make sure you get your tickets lined up, confirm those now, because that dome will be sold out, no question. And it's going to be packed, and it's going to be one hell of a week here. Uh, we've had you on the show a lot, uh, Amar. We sure appreciate this. Uh, all, all the best to you. Really you guys, thanks for taking the time. And uh, we look forward to talking to you later and, in the season. And impressed that you knew who Soft Cell was. <laughs> right. Tainted oh. love, right? Tainted but, love. Oh, my. Tainted very love. good. Look at Tainted this guy. Love. Tainted yeah. love. Music trivia next time around, Amar. He's the same age right, as us, Thank you. You bet. Amar Doman, uh, BC Lions owner.